Hey everybody, it's update time again. Coming on Wednesday, August 7th, the 1.9 update is finally dropping. I've got lots of interesting information with some sneak peeks of new visitors, new food recipes, and more, including lots of milk. But sadly, I don't think the milk that you are thinking of. I've also got some information about future updates, including 1.9.5, and 2.0. So stay tuned for all of that and let's jump into it. So the first thing that's confirmed for the 1.9 update is that there's going to be some major map improvements. They didn't go into this, but we know that some things will change when you're navigating the map in the game. And sort of related to that, with map updates, there will be some changes to the crystal caves. I suspect that this is just for polishing up everything before the Switch release early next year. Chelsea says that it will be significantly simplified, so I'm hoping that it won't be a complete maze that honestly, I don't think anybody actually knows their way around, so hopefully it'll be a lot better than before. And on Sunblink's official X account, they posted another little teaser for a new avatar type. What do you think this looks like? I think it's maybe a sheep or a lamb or possibly even one of those fluffy highland cows, but I'm going with sheep or lamb because it does look a lot like my sweet piano, don't you think? Chelsea posted an announcement saying, are y'all ready for 1.9? We're happy to give you a sneak peek. Introducing milk. Shakes! That's right, we're bringing you some brand new recipes you can really shake up your milk game. What a troll! When I saw this notification, I definitely ran to Discord, and when it was just a milkshake, I was a little disappointed, but I'm always down for new recipes. She did another one where she said, is everyone gearing up for 1.9? We're super excited to go a bit against the grain and announce something ahead of time. It's milk! Bread! Yet again, another troll. She said, that's right, you'll be needing this existing recipe to help chill Retsuko out in a brand new weekly quest. That's what you were expecting, right? No, Chelsea, it was not what I was expecting. We just want baby milk. But obviously this whole update is, I think, kind of like a troll. Since I still kind of think we're gonna get milk in 2.0, but I'm not 100% sure. And then after trolling us so many times, she did actually end up posting some key art for 1.9. It looks like we're going to have some sort of back to school event. But yeah, when you look at this key art photo, we'll probably have to make some more books. We'll have some cute plaid skirts with some preppy little blazers. Karapi's wearing what looks like maybe a beret of some sort, which super cute. Batsmaru's got a pencil in his ear that I'm hoping we will get as well. And then Chaco Cat has got those nerdy glasses that I definitely need a pair of. And as a teacher, I definitely love the idea of having little school uniforms and stuff like that. They're just adorable. One other thing that they confirmed is that the bug with the ducky raincoat will be fixed. So if you were looking for where the ducky raincoat went, it mysteriously disappeared, but they will be adding it again. And for the last things that we know for sure are coming tomorrow, include a new visitor. I think there's going to be more than one visitor, but this visitor was just revealed just a little bit before I finished this video, so I'm super excited about that. The reveal was awesome, by the way. It started with a new face on the Sunblink's design team named Lizby. She posted this on the Discord with the caption, Dessert Machine Mishap? Or is this the new uniform with her character wearing a unicorn horn? Then on the Discord, everybody was too busy welcoming her in and we just didn't realize that this was a huge drop on their part because her character is wearing a literal unicorn horn and we didn't think of where it came from. So then Chelsea uploaded a new emoji and it turned out to be Karoon. He is looking so cute, and if you want more information about who he is, I did talk a little bit about him in my milk video. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Chelsea for getting me the image I used in my thumbnail. So, love ya girl. But yeah, so that's all of the things that we have for sure. I do think Karoon is going to help us get to milk, which also leads me to one kind of bummer that we learned. 
is that Milk is not going to be a resident. This is very unfortunate, but this is because of Sanrio themselves, not because of Sunblink. Chelsea said that per Sanrio, every associated character has to be with their main cast member. So, we wouldn't be able to have Milk as a permanent cast member even if we wanted to. So, that's kind of a bummer for most of us who were hoping that he was going to be a resident instead of a visitor, but at least he's coming soon. So that's why at the photo op spots, we need Cinnamon Roll to invite Cappuccino and Mocha, or we need Karomi to bring Baku. But Chelsea did suggest something very interesting that I don't think will be coming for many updates if they even decide to do something like this, which is allowing you to bring the sub-characters as a companion, where you would need Cinnamon Roll to bring Milk with. Which he or she did say Cinnamon Roll and Milk, another hint at how he's just going to be a visitor. And let's move on to more of these unconfirmed things that we know about the future. And there is one about the Island Spirit. A Discord user did suggest having Island Spirit as a giftable character, since that is what we all thought was going to happen anyways. Chelsea replied saying that they do actually have a plan for her. And I think that since she mentioned quality of life in her reply, it could possibly have to do with one of the actions you can do with the nulls currently, like either resource collection or flower watering, or even something else like plucking all grown flowers at once. What do you think they'll have the island spirit do? Another Discord user suggested having Peckle sell us CDs just like Bats does with comics. Chelsea replied confirming that this is currently what they are planning to do. I am certainly excited for that, but remember this is not confirmed, this is just sort of kind of what might happen. They can always change their mind. They are planning to customize visitor lobbies, but it has been difficult for them to execute it, so it has been pushed back. So I'm not sure when we will actually see this, but it's definitely on a list, you know? So there's more things that they have to prioritize before they can get to doing something like that. So do you know how characters can't gather us snowsicles? One of the mods on the Discord replied to somebody asking about that. They said that fix list and not to-do list probably means snowsicles not being in the menu is a bug. It could be that there is something preventing the devs from adding snowsicles to the collection menu without something else going wrong. And Chelsea said Neve is right. Every time we try to fix this, other stuff winds up breaking for reasons that are too complicated to address at this time. We definitely want to fix it though. So obviously it's on their list, so just be patient and one day we'll be able to ask them to get snowsicles for us. I'm just really hoping the milkshakes don't use snowsicles because I have like Four. Oh, and the last thing that is sort of confirmed, unconfirmed, is that Chelsea posted this heads up announcement saying that she mentioned a mechanic to adjust the luck on minigames and the fishing well, but it got pushed to 1.9.5 due to testing limitations, and she'll keep us all posted on any further changes. So hopefully it's coming then and not any later. But yeah, that's most of everything that we know so far for the 1.9 update. Currently making this, it is Tuesday, August 6th, and the update should drop tomorrow on August 7th for most time zones. So let me know what you think about all of these changes and updates. So yeah, don't forget to check the app store tomorrow for the update, and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to keep up and make videos, but I'm still on vacation, and yeah. I'll try my best. If you need anything specific, uh, join my Discord. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!